What is rocking, friends? We got Freestyler King versus Zomok for SBL. Freestyler King got bored in mid season and he brought a Porygon. What the fuck? Zomok probably bring the packing the Z move Mans plus Mega Metagross. Magnus on the trap scum. Really nice broken core. So Salamence can put in the work. Metagross can put in the work if um, Magnus on traps the seals. Let me just see if I can call someone really quick to get them join the video god i'm rendering something so yeah nice and destroy my intro already here so let me see if that would be ash gonna pro ah uh, i think that will be protein greninja okay i'm wondering why he has a porygon too though like i know it checks greninja pretty well for ex like that's one thing it checks what else does it do maybe it checks metagross if it's not hammer arm yeah, no one is picking up, fuck this. So yeah, we'll just concentrate on the match instead of ruining my entire video. Okay, leads with Ninja. This has to be Rock's Lando unless it's Metagross, uh, Rock's Metagross. So if he has spikes, Greninja, you can get off a spike here because there's no way Zomok is staying in. He's probably going to AV Magnezon. Or if he's AV, that is. But I feel like he kind of has to be AV Magnezon to check Ninja on this team. Because, like, Tabu Fiend just gets gunk shot. That is not a good switch in. That's only switching to Ash Ninja. Yeah, boy didn't even respond. I like asked him chat why he's not picking up. So depending on the depending on what set this ninja is, if it's a uh, protein he will spike. If it's not protein, we double out into Landris. So Zomak was probably Scarf Landris then. So he was scouting for Scarf there. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So is it Stealth from Metagross or is it Scarf Rocks Landorus? I'm really confused. I would have stayed in there with the Greninja and I would have gotten blown back. I think U-turn is a roll from full to kill. I mean what switches into Weavile like... Porygon to would switch in if it didn't have knockoff but Weavile has knockoff so... But this is Scarf Lando, right? Because that U-turn did so much, that U-turn did 9%. So I think he has to go for Ice Shot here to kill this. So if he's Bullet Punch Metagross, he could go hard Metagross, potentially Bullet Punch this. But that's risky as fuck. Like, what would you do here? Hmm. I guess you could go Greninja on the Ice Shard, potentially. Or Metagross on the ice shot if he has bullet punch, like I said, but... Like, this Lando has to be offensive, right? I mean, it's probably not even Scarf Lando, it's probably Z-Move Lando, unless it's... Unless it's Z-Move Ferramosa. Or Z-Conversion Porygon, but I don't think it's that set. I don't like that Z-Conversion set, I thought in you So... It's either like Rock's Offensive Double Dance Lando, in my opinion. If it's not Scarf. Oh, it's just Double Dance and the rocks are on the Chomp. But I would think, I would think the Faramoth or the Chomp is the Scarfer. And yeah, Z-Move on one of these two, I would think. He goes on the Porygon. Does he need this a Violet this game? Oh god, he predicted that, I guess, and went for knockoff. It's Life or Buiva. So I guess it makes sense that this is not... That he predicts this to not be Scarf Landris, but I guess that was just an aggressive read from Zomax end. Yeah, okay, fuck this. I'm closing my sky. These people are not responding. Shout out to TK. He, he should be in the video, but of course, like he just told me he had time a few minutes ago, and he's now he's not picking up. Like, what is this? Come on, dude. Now, now you like made me ruin my intro. Okay, so we withdrew the wheel. Um, 
I assume this has hammer arm. Oh my f I forgot that this got knocked off. That did 10 million that match. Nice tech foul play. Like that, yeah. Metagross ate that though. Like, the only point in saving this would be for death for for later. Just doesn't like Porygon doesn't do shit at this point with being with, since it's knocked off already. If he has like earthquake on his meta, he could go into meta, but that's like risky, cause meta will take a hit. Yeah, other than that, I don't think he has a switch in. Like, I guess he could go Ninja Two on a mash, but it will do a shitload. So I would probably just sack this Porygon. Hmm, he's already in a bad position, kind of. That man brought a Porygon in his first SPL match. And this season, I don't know if he was ever, if he has ever played. And there is the attack boost, which is bad. Um, I guess Greninja revenges this anyway, unless, hey, this, this doesn't matter. Unless he, like, over predicts and goes for gunk shots. <laughs> Like, Zomok is probably going Zorn or Fini here. What was turn 1 again? He had the Landris out right and 3 staking scouted, scouted for Scarf. Yeah, Magnus on Fini, like I said. Set HP, yeah, HP fine, nice play. So I don't think that's a Thorvath that it should load. Technically, he can get up a spike here, if he has spikes, that is, but I like the spikes, HP fire, gunk shot, hyper pump set a lot. You can run an ice beam or hyper pump, that's also a good set, but then you get walled by like heat trim, which is like really weird <laughs> for a good ninja. Yeah, okay, he just picks off the zone, I guess that's fine, that's a fine play. We will outspeed Squid Ninja, um, yeah. You can just click knock off here and basically like destroy something. Weaver puts in so much work versus him, good god, like He has no switch ins. Like if he has tank chomp and he has um nah tank chomp is not even good here because the only thing it will do is do like some recall to the Weaver. But the next hit, Weaver can just go for Ice Shadow on the jump like, after knocking off. So you only have to take Waskin once and Helmet. So the Weaver wouldn't even die. But, so you just have to like, sack what is most useless. Let me think about how he can win. I mean, if he's double dance Landers, that, that's a threat that can always win. But the thing is, it doesn't set up on anything. Like, Metagross probably has Ice Punch and even Mash does a shitload, so okay, I guess he just sacks this since it doesn't set up on anything. It wasn't even, it wasn't downloaded, and it was off plate. But yeah, I said earlier this could be Offensive Rocks, either Double Dance. Or, um, just Double Dance without... Without Rocks, but I got the Double Dance part wrong, but I still think this is offensive with the Rocks. Since it was off plate, it's obviously offensive. So he's just sacking this now. I don't know why he switched the Weevil out. So he tried to go into Mer Pivot into Meragos and the Ice move there. As there's a Suspect 2 going on soon. I, I got my Rex finally, so don't gotta worry about that. Um, yeah, if anyone is watching this, leave me like your opinion about Dougie down below. I think I already talked about this a little bit in a few earlier videos. But yeah, ban that doggy. Make sure to ban doggy if you haven't voted yet. If you haven't gotten Rex, make sure to get Rex and ban that thing. Influences how you have to play, because it's in the back and can always trap some steel. Or not only steel, it also traps stuff like Lily. So this is Scarf Landrath, okay. 
Did he go for Ice Punch here or did he go for Mash predicting the Feeny? Like Dougie or Trapping in general is just uncompetitive. I don't know how often like there's no point in repeating it, I guess. People should know this by now. I don't know, just not only does it take the fun away, it also like you just lose some matches from team preview. Like on a specific stall team. Dougie just traps um like Heatran, let's say Heatran, and then Chansey plus Toxapex plus Gummy walls the entire opposing team. Or let's say you trap Tabu Lily, and then Chansey Toxapex walls everything. So he got the two hit KO there on the opposing Metagross one the speed type. I've picked kills from this range, so you joining Ollie was nice play by Zamok to bring the Metagross into range to die from Earthquake. And Metagross is actually really bulky and with, if Dougie gets banned I think this uh, needs a suspect test. But there are a few other mods that need a suspect in my opinion, especially Greninja since it's crazy. Protein Greninja basically has no switch-ins. It's really fast too, you can get up spikes since it's four switches. It's just really good. But let's not talk about this more. Let's concentrate on the game. I think Zamak pretty much... Zamak has one, one last, but whenever Weaver gets in later on, it pretty much gets a kill. The only thing outspeeding Weaver is the, the Faramosa. And the potential Scarf Jump, but Scarf Jump dies to Ice Shell anyway. I think it's a roll from full, but if you... Like get a little bit of chip. Okay, never mind. Now the jump is in range anyway for Ice Shard. You just need a little bit of chip for it to be in Ice Shard range 100%. But since it took that huge earthquake, it dies to that for sure to Ice Shard. I mean, it even gets 2 KO'd here by Scarf Earthquake. So maybe he predicted in the U turn there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he went into um, into this. If he predicted Earthquake, he could have gone into land though. As he makes like a hard read there, goes for Earthquake. Predicting the top of Vini, I guess. I don't really know about that play, that Earthquake there. Um, he he will have his reasons for this play, but I just... So he gets in his land or gets off the rocks on the... Because the opposing land was like locked in. He kind of like just threw his chomp away there. I feel like he could have saved that at least. For father for the Weaver when the Weaver comes out. So Sky Stripe Mans can get up a Dragon Lens here. Doesn't Sky Stripe Mans just win? I mean this probably has Oh no, if it's Earth Play it might not have HPIs. It might have Stone Edge then, if it's max attack. But it might also have HPIs. People shall see. But yeah, if this gets up a Dragon Lens and lifts the hit. Man's outspeeds Faramosa, so if Faramosa is not Scarf or Sash, that dies to a Dragon Claw, Ninja dies to a Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Metagross should die to Earthquake at plus one. If it's Moxie Man's, which is. It is Moxie Man's, so it gets a boost anyway. So yeah, if he gets a DD and a kill here on this, it's a plus two, so Man's just sweeps. I mean, even plus, man, plus one Man should sweep. Um, the only way he has to prevent it from speaking is. If this has Edge or HPIs, like I said, and then maybe he can revenge it with a bullet punch or meta if he has that. Maybe he's uh, Scarf and Mosa too. Okay, Smackdown didn't do much. That's like I said, you saw. I saw I used an Aura, so I used it myself. Smackdown with Off Plate to like kill Skarmory and Rotoms. Actually, I don't know if I used Off Plate on that set, but I used Smackdown plus Earthquake. You uh, was playing versus Telly in the suspect too. That's funny as fuck. I'ma watch that soon if this match is over. I want to see what teams Telly uses in Gen Seven. To set the legend didn't get picked up picked up for SPL mid season. That boy's funny. <laughs> he goes for the Z move there, and unless it's Scarf Fermosa, this match just sweeps. Oh, Sash Fermosa. So he has bullet punch, but it doesn't kill, and it's over. Since he went into Metagross first, this Faramosa doesn't have a Sash or it's not Scarf. So this man's just got a clean sweep now. That's some nice offense from Zomax and like... <laughs> Earthquake killed the Faramosa. Does he not have Dranklaw on this or did he want to like... 
just didn't show off his entire set, not sure. But yeah, um, Mens is one of those months that got like a lot better in Sun and Moon with Supersonic Sky Strike. I still feel like some Zemos need to be banned, or at least like looked at into deeper. Like I just don't f like this meta with Zemos because your things that are supposed to check certain stuff just get like destroyed by a Z move by like a random Z move and it's over. I mean Sky Strike is obvious is an obvious Z move, it's not random. Oh yeah that's a topic for another video. Um there's Mans, there's Gyarados and what's the third one that likes to use Sky Strike Landorus? Those ones like Landorus was already super good but now it's like super scary because Landorus has like so many good sets now like double dance, scarf, defensive and that Earth Plate Offensive set too, and that it has even more sets, but I cannot think about them from the top of my head. Thank you guys for watching. We will look at the score really quick. I I know that um, Freestyle King is in the Wolf Pack and Zomix is in the Classic, so the score is two and two. I think Flame Victini will play this night with Alcans. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to catch that because if it's night and EST time, it's already six a.m. or something my time. Yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed and we can actually look at the schedule what the next game is that is coming up. It says Ray Scarface versus Psychic Immunity on Saturday but it doesn't say a specific time. And Roscoe versus Atticus it also doesn't say a time. Yeah, and Flame Victini it just says night was all counts. So yeah, we'll just wait and see. Peace out friends, the content will be coming later guys